Hey everyone, it's the Detective back again with another Bakugan Armored Alliance video. Unfortunately, the Geogun Rising stuff, uh, those reviews are over for the time being. However, by no means am I done with Bakugan Armored Alliance because there's still a ton more stuff to look at. And I recently did a trade with someone in one of the Bakugan discords I'm in. So I'm going to be showing some of the Bakugan I got because, of course, I'm not going to trade for Bakugan that I already have. So we got four Bakugan here. You can see a few of them are fusions. And I'm actually really, really excited to take a look at all these. So... Yeah, I actually received these yesterday. I just opened them up and I figured that I'd show them off. Of course, I have the character cards as well. Uh, let's start out with uh, this one right here. So this is actually Halakor Extra Emporian, which is one of my least favorite fusion designs. However, I saw, uh, I believe this came from a five pack and it actually looks really nice with the Pyrus Darkest color scheme. It actually looks really, really good. And the guy who I was trading with had an extra of these and uh, I asked him if he was willing to trade it, and he said yes. So I'm actually pretty happy that I got this, even though it's not my favorite design. Uh, I have reviewed this guy before, but here he is. Uh, one of the reasons why I didn't like this design is simply because he's really just so ball-shaped. And especially with how dynamic a lot of the Fusion Bakugan are, it just kind of was like a step in the wrong direction, at least in my opinion, design-wise. But I really just could not pass up this great paint job. I love the use of the purple. There's not a lot, but you can see some right there and also some right there. So basically like on his legs a little bit. And uh, I love the green teeth and the black and the orange on the side. It looks very Halloween-themed. And I guess uh, it's not really fitting since Halloween was over a month ago, but it still is pretty cool to have a Bakugan like this. And uh, yeah, he's just a cool addition to the collection. Here's the card. He uh, actually isn't like too bad, honestly. Like definitely one of the better fusions that I've seen, but still not like too good. Uh, 702, seven cost of fuse and two red fists. And then when he flips over, love the art. I'm not so much a fan of Halakor Ramparian as a toy design, but I do love the way that he looks here because of course he kind of has that almost uh, shell look that Ramparian has, and it really does fit with Halakor's three heads and 1,208. So yeah, there's that. Uh, next up, let's move on to Simoga. And this is really exciting because Simoga is a Bakugan, which before doing this trade, I did not own any versions of. Like, I just didn't happen to get any of the packs that this came in. And I do want to get more of the Fusion Force stuff, you know, with the different fusions, since I'm still missing a couple fusions. And then there are actually, I think, a few core Bakugan from, like, the first few waves of Armored Alliance. Simoga was one of them. Uh, I still think that there's, like, two or three more that I'm missing, but here he is in Ventus. And, of course, this is the Bakugan that Simo got to name, which is pretty cool. You know, Simoga, Simo, makes sense. And uh, I believe he actually is a native faction in Ventus, which is pretty cool. And, honestly, I love this design more than I thought I would because, well... You know, I've seen this design in person before. I saw it at the Invitational, but it was the Invitational of 2019. So that was like a year and like a month ago at this point. It was like a little, little under 13 months ago, I guess. And uh, it's definitely very nice to have this guy in my collection finally. And he does look really cool. I love the face details, especially. those are That's definitely my favorite part. The paint is a little bit iffy on it, but I do love the actual, just the details that were put into that. And I also really like these kind of claws at the front i'm not sure if these are claws or wings or what have you but i guess actually you know let's look at the card right here let's look at the card yeah there we go i guess they are supposed to be kind of wings and then he's got like are those hands i don't even know are his are his arms just with just like claws i don't know uh anyway there's a big noise in the background there's currently like a truck that's like cleaning up my neighborhood so my window's closed but you might be able to hear some of the noise unfortunately so please just ignore that he's a double helix 202 uh, 500 and a plus 5 on a Helix. Not terrible, but I don't think the Helixes aren't, like, good anymore. I don't know. They might be good. But either way, again, like, all four of these Bakugan, I didn't really want for competitive value since there aren't actually too many competitive Bakugan from Armored Alliance that I don't already have. I think probably the only, like, really competitive Bakugan from Armored Alliance that I'm missing is Ventus Riarazu. But that one is, like, really, really rare. So I hope I can find that. Or even, like, if I find it in 2021, I really want to find that one and get that one in my collection. But anyway, there's Simoga. Very cool to have him. And then we have Heos Nilius Ultra. And Nilius Ultra is a really great design. I actually got in a uh, Darkest version at the Invitational. But here he is. Uh, one of the cons that people have is the heads are manual. But it really doesn't take too much effort to flip those out. And then once you do flip them out, 
he looks really cool. Like, this is one of the longest Bakugan. I'm pretty sure I posted, like, on my Instagram last year, in, you know, 2019, like, right after the Invitational, I actually posted a size comparison with a few other Bakugan, and, uh, he was the longest, like, Bakugan at the time. You know, I compared him to all of the really long ones from Armored Alliance, and compared to all of those, Nilius Ultra is a longer Bakugan. He may have been outclassed. I don't know by what he would have been outclassed. Again, I still do not own all of the, the Fusion Bakugan yet, and a few of the Armored Alliance ones, so there might be a Bakugan that's longer than him, but from the Bakugan that I've seen and from the ones that I own, this guy is, like, the longest Bakugan, and he honestly does look really, really cool. I think he looks nice in Chaos. He is a double shield, 403, with three frosts on a shield. Again, like like Simoga and like the Howlcore, it's not terrible. Like, if you play it in a deck, it's not going to be, like, the worst decision ever. But, like, when it comes to Chaos with double, with double shields, you're always going to be beat out by Pegatrix Ultra. Like, there's just no, there's no discussing it. That Bakugan is just way too good in the competitive game. And the final one is the one that I've been most excited for. This is Hydrus X Batrix. This is actually one of the fusion designs that I was looking forward to the most. And for some reason, I still haven't gotten any of the packs that he comes in. So I, he, you know, he, the guy who I traded with had one of these uh, in Darkest Aquos, no less. Which, if you guys don't know, Darkest is my favorite attribute from the original series. And Aquos is my favorite faction from the new series. So these are basically like my two favorite attributes slash factions, whatever you want to call them. And I've actually taken a look at the Hydronoid Krakelios Darkest Aquos already in a review that I did, I think, like, last week or two weeks ago. And it's a really, really killer design, and this color scheme is really killer as well. Already, I'm loving just the colors, like, all of them. They look, they look fantastic. And then when we pop them out, oops, and there he is. And this design is just so, so cool. Just having it in my hand, you know, I've had this for a day, and when I opened them, you know, yesterday, when I received it in the mail and I opened it up, I did, I did pop them open already, but, like, nonetheless, this design is just such a killer design for a core Bakugan, no less. It looks really, really dynamic, a lot of cool details. I love how the blue right here almost looks like lightning that's coming off of his face. Uh, that's really cool. The tail, uh, of course, you have the bat wings for the bat tricks. And I really like how they actually have some spots for the Baku gear without looking, you know, terrible, without actually sticking off the Bakugan. So, really, really cool look for him. And then the card, Hydrus X Batrix, Shield Fist, 305, plus 500 on a fist. And then you can fuse for five. And this art, yeah, that, that, looks, that looks really, really cool. 1,005 and on a shield, plus 500, plus five. Honestly, like, not terrible. Uh, I mean, fusions aren't exactly, like, competitive. None of them are, even this one. But this is actually probably one of the better fusions I've seen. Even better than the, uh, the Hawakura and Pari in there. Because if you're on the fuse side right here, you know, you, you could just potentially think about the fusion as a five-cost Evo, right? When you're on the fuse side, you're basically going to get up to 1,800 or 1,900, depending on which core you use. If you use just the 300, the generic, like, 300 B-Power Fist, you can get up to 1,800 or 1,900. Or if you're running a mostly uh, Aquos and Darkest deck, then you can actually just use the Aquos Darkest plus 400 B-Power shield. And that puts you up to 1,900, which is actually, like, pretty decent, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, though, enough talk about that. I'm just really excited to have all these designs. Uh, you know, again, this is just one that I wanted for the paint job. This is kind of one I wanted for the paint job, and then these were just two that I wanted mostly for the... Uh, just having a new mold, but honestly, this one is definitely my favorite. Hydrus X Batrix, really, really cool design. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.